Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Well, hello again, Eric here, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and I have a video here on the Alex Loop Antenna. So I have some videos on other loop antennas on my YouTube channel, and they're a great success. Well, this one comes from Gigaparts. Gigaparts said, hey, check out this Alex Loop Antenna. Uh, this is developed by Poppy Yankee One Alpha Hotel Delta, and it's a uh, loop antenna that really goes together in a matter of seconds. And can be used uh, every day or on a balcony mount, portable, QRP, uh, field day, all kinds of stuff. It deploys and breaks down in a matter of seconds. So Gigaparts wanted me to check this out. The link is in the description and uh, also recommended to get the uh, uh, accessory with it, the BNC to SO239 adapter. And I'll show you why. Let's take this out, check it out, and see uh, how fast it goes together and what kind of performance we get out of it. All right, so let's see how fast this thing will set up. All right, and I like how it comes in this case like this, right? It does have the instructions right here to set up an operation, very basic. So what I would do, I would undo the Velcro straps here. All right, there's three pieces. Basically, here's your tuner, okay? And the uh, tuning knob down here so this is going to be on the bottom. You're going to take the middle piece, the tube like this, and then you're going to take the top piece. It's like PVC construction. Okay, that's half the battle right there. It's already, it's already there. Okay. So this is going to go to your radio, and that's why I mentioned the BNC to SO 239 adapter. Okay. Now the loop is actually made out of this piece of coax here. So. This piece of coax looks like RG8 or LMR400 um, with ends on it. So what's going to happen is basically this is your loop like this. All right. There's a round piece on top that's going to go right on the top of this like that. And you stretch the pieces out. Don't really kink them or bend them. Just manipulate them to go into... The bottom piece like this. There's one. There's two. That's it. The loop is constructed. Okay, it's that simple. Now this here will go on a, a mount tripod. Uh, if you're on a balcony mount, you can mount it vertically or horizontally. But that's it. So what you're going to do now is we're going to set it up outside and. Uh, Tune this knob here. This is uh, 40 through 10 meters, 7 through 30 megahertz. So you're going to tune this for the maximum receive on the band you're at, and then you're going to transmit a low power in there and watch your SWR meter that should be in line or the SWR meter on your radio and tune for the lowest SWR. This handles 20 watts sideband or 10 watts uh, AM FM CW. So um, it is uh, a QRP loop. I wouldn't put more. Actually, it says do not put more than 20 watts into this because you will damage the tuner unit. Um, so that fast you put it together, let's take it outside and see what it does. So I got the Alex loop set up. All right, I got a little tripod here. This looks familiar from the uh, wire, the uh, loop that we used, uh, loop tuner. So we constructed a little base for this. And uh, this is the Alex loop, just slides right on top of it. It does have some sort of directionality off the uh, far end of it. So looking this way, it would be a null. But facing it this way, I'd be a little more directional. What I have it connected to right now is uh, Jan's uh, LNR Precision QRP rig, FX4 Alpha. And uh, I'll show you some of the clips here in a minute of the audio of this thing. I mean, it's really receiving great. He's got this, so this is, a, I think, a 5-watt solid-state or solid uh, software defined radio does four bands he's got a little battery backup with it he's got a speaker with it and a little hand mic that's it okay this antenna again is rated to 20 watts but I'm using it at five I'm going to turn this around and receive a couple stations real quick and then I will uh, try to make a contact or two 
Uh, bands are up and down today, but we'll see what I can do with 5 watts on this loop. I'm sorry, I still don't have it. Give it to me phonetically. Glenn County, got it corrected. Thank you, 73. Cure is dead, November Romeo 5 by. Thank you, John Test. Thank you, California. Q's over for these November Romeo 5, Mexico. Nancy Radio 5, Mike. Fox Front, number 81, Contra Costa County. Thank you, QRZ, November 6, Ontario, QRZ. Thank you, CQ Contest, M6, Ontario, QRZ. WD5K, nice to see you again, number 83, Contra Costa County. Alright, so, easy enough to tune, watch this, okay? The tuning knob in the bottom, I'm going to set my radio to, right now I'm on 14.251. You really don't hear too much of anything, okay? But what you do basically is you tune this knob for peak noise, peak receive. That's it. Okay, that's it. Um, the peak noise, uh, once you get that in, in the ballpark, you can transmit on your radio, and you can, this in this situation, I don't have an SWR uh, way, uh, analyzer or meter in line, but I can see on here my SWR is flat. Now, if I wanted to change to a different band, it's no big deal. We go to 17 meters, same thing. So to show you what's happening on an analyzer when you're doing that, you're tuning it for maximum receive, which is actually the the uh, spot on the antenna that you're tuning. So if I was on 7.140 megahertz, I would start tuning this knob on the antenna for the lowest SWR, which would heat, sound like the maximum receive on your radio. So that right there, 1.2 to 1 roughly, and I can fine tune that in. All right. Um, now if I were to switch to 20 meters. 14.200, I would hear really nothing, and I would have to retune 14.216. Now I'd have to retune the antenna, so I'd go back to the knob on the antenna and start tuning it until I heard that the maximum receive, which would be the spot in which the loop is tuned for that frequency. All right, like that, 14.218. There's one to one. SWR, and uh, that's 20 meters. India 74, Calaveras. Thank you, Whiskey Charlie 6 Hotel. V1, Quebec, Illawad. V1, Quebec, Illawad. 75, Calaveras. Villapoi? Alright, so I tried to make a few contacts. I made one or two. Uh, the bands are up and down. We were at 5 watts, but 2 contacts, and it was the California QSO party, so they wouldn't talk to me because I was in Florida. However, to break this down, very simple, reverse process. Take the two PL259s off of the unit. Take it off the top, okay? Don't kink this or bend it or smash it, but it's kind of an already in a uh, memory shape here, so just kind of get the circle like this of coax, okay? Right around, it has Velcro uh, straps on here. One, two, three, like this. Okay, very simple. This one up. Like that, okay. Get this back in the bag. Ever so gently. Like that. Then you take this off, top, middle, bottom. One in here, Velcro straps.
your coax up. Comes with a little rubber band. And that's it. Put it back in your zipper bag. That's it. Alex Loop by Poppy Yankee You want Alpha Hotel Delta. This comes from gigaparts.com. Check it out. Links in the description. And 73 from KJ4YZI.